first weekend in October, within about the first 30 seconds of a bike ride on Sunday morning, I was following two of my mates across this very bridge right here. As we approached the end here, and I started to bank to the left there, my tires lost traction. And before I knew what was going on, I was laying on the ground, spewing forth a torrent of obscenities. So after six hours in the emergency room, I came home with a broken fibula and a cast large enough to entomb a small dog. Now, everybody who recovers from a broken bone should get a trophy. Instead, you just get atrophy. That being said, there are some pros and cons to being a mountain biker who breaks a leg. The most obvious benefit of breaking your leg is the excellent parking available to you. And when you head to the grocery store, you're gonna ride these sweet e-bikes, uh, electric scooters. The best scooter in town is at the Fresh Market in Chapel Hill. Second best, Harris Teeter University Mall. But the absolute worst is Harris Teeter in Carborough, where you're just bumping into everything. What you're really looking for here are lots of big, wide aisles to navigate freely and not have this happen. And when you're not on that e-scooter, your crutches, you get to scoot around on this little scooter here. Which can double as your workout bench and also your drinking bench. Huge bonus, you're gonna get ripped muscles from crutching it out all day. And your one-legged balance gets really good. But then one of your best buds from college shares his tiki taki and you realize you've been outdone again. This Saturday, Sunday, what? This Friday, this Friday, Sunday, what? This Friday, this Friday, this Friday. And you can drink any time of day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, doesn't matter. Go ahead and milk that, I'm really hurt so I do what I want angle just for all it's worth. You can also realize a lifelong dream of sitting in the shower, which also makes drinking in the shower a lot easier. A huge pro is that your children finally have to learn how to pick up after themselves because bending over is an exercise in humiliating awkwardness. When everyone else is having a blast at the bike park, you get to bust out your crutch cannons and take them all down. Pew, 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 pew. You can also be a sad one-legged pyro for Halloween and you don't need to do all these boring long drives to the mountains to do some great riding. And that's where the pros pretty much end. The rest of this experience is pretty miserable. So for the cons, let's get the obvious out of the way. You can't walk, you can't ride, you can't do anything. But if you're gonna break your leg, make sure you break the left leg so you can still drive. Social media can already be depressing, especially if you got lots of Insta friends living in the mountains. But now it's even more depressing because you can't ride and it's fall, the most wonderful time of the year. It's fall, yeah. Those crutches that make the muscles, they're also going to tear up your hands and pits. And those casts are scratchy as fuck. Stairs are now the most terrifying part of your existence. These scooters are actually death traps. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. This one has repeatedly tried to kill me. The handlebars are way too narrow, and the wheels are solid and not inflatable, which means they're gonna get stuck on every little stick, corner, edge, rock, bump, whatever. This brake, it ain't a brake. Fun fact, it's actually a prison shiv that's been soldered to the frame. It's gonna stick out and repeatedly shank your ankle, giving you a shankle. The bars can turn a full 360, but seriously, we are not going for BMX tricks here. What this means is that the bars turn parallel to the frame, and when they do, you're going down, and it happens all the time. 
But thank goodness there's a well-known North Carolina mountain biker who also recently broke his leg that can rebuild scooters. Probably the worst part about this whole thing, that fall mountain bike trip you've been planning and you still go on, it's sucker punched. Have fun sitting in the parking lot while all your friends are out there living it up in the woods. So don't let anybody tell you that breaking a bone is a rite of passage in mountain biking or any outdoor sport for that matter. It's not, it's reserved for just a lucky few. Just watch out for the slippery bits, y'all.